Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I've decided to do a three month forecast. So we're going to do three month forecast. We're going to do one month, month one, month two, and month three. Okay? So let's just go from here. We're just going to go like this. Do the shuffling. Month one, month two, month three. We're going to get one of these for each month. I need one card for month one. So what I want you to do is concentrate on the next full month. Okay, the next full month. Say if you're at the end of a month now, this is going to be for the next month. Okay? If you're at the beginning of a month, then, you know, then it's going to be for the month you are in. So, month one. Month two. Month two. So this is being recorded on September 23rd. So you could say this would be October, November, December. But whenever you watch it, okay, keep that in mind. So if say you watch this in November, this would be November. Okay, just keep that in mind. Right now, we're going to say this is October. Well, I guess this is November. And what about December or month three? We have to take both of those. Let's get one of these. Month one, please. Month one. No reversals for these cards. Month one. Month two. And month three. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. books away. And now we are going to get this deck right here. As a matter of fact, I think we're not going to, we're just going to, these are all going to be upright. Month one, they're all going to be upright because I can get this, I can get a message that way as well. Month one. Month one. Month two. Month two. Month three. Month three. Now we're going to get an overall energy for the next three months. One card for the overall energy. Wow, success! Success! Six of Wands, so the overall energy is success, okay? Uh, six of Wands, that's making progress, heading towards victory, heading towards success. Heading in the right direction. Being recognized, 
This is a card of recognition, being highly respected, people watching you, respecting you, seeing your nobility, seeing your leadership skills. Hold on, I'm getting up. Stand. Overall energy. Success. Okay, let's look at month number one. Divine Consciousness. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go somewhere, Taurus. Hold on, I'm getting two more stands. Sorry about my disorganization. This was a spur of the moment thing. Got to do some reorganizing. Maybe you'll be doing some reorganizing. Every single thing during a reading is, is very prominent. So maybe you're going to be doing some reorganization during the next three months. Time to go. We're going to read those in a minute. Month number one or October. Nine of Cups. Queen of Wands. Seven of Cups. Knight of Swords. The Tower in October. And the Hierophant. Well, looks as though you guys are going to be right in your own element. This is, this is definitely divine consciousness okay so you guys are going to be consciously aware in october this is my old camera so please bear with me it allows me to record for longer times so october divine consciousness Working with divine consciousness, we can open ourselves to deep thought and meaning that cannot be described in normal language. It is felt and expressed with the heart and higher self. Peace, bliss, divine power, and unlimited expansion awaits you when you consciously connect at this level. You will be very spiritually connected in October. Or, month number one. Between soul and spirit, it is possible to connect our inner being to divine consciousness. Divine consciousness enables us to open our mind to different states of reality and communication. Right now, you are experiencing an awakening. Congratulations! You are raising your consciousness and are energetically shifting. Your divine blueprint has been activated into a new state of awareness. You may be oversensitive, but it will soon pass as you adjust to this new vibration. You are now connected to the healing energy of the divine. Miracles can occur now if you keep a positive mindset. Archangel Gabrielle supervises these transitions as you become connected in mind, body, and spirit. Being connected to the divine consciousness aligns you with your divine purpose, grows and expands your spirit, encouraging you to remember who you were before you came into being. You are encouraged to meditate to remove yourself from earthly dramas, gossip, and physical issues. Be gentle with yourself. Eat nutritious food, drink enough water, and get plenty of rest. By connecting to a state of conscious consciousness higher than our mind's physical awareness, we eliminate, we eliminate impurities and toxicity within the body. Spirit, higher thought forms, angelic connections, and animal messages will come clearly now. Keep a journal for the next 21 days to record the thoughts, feelings, and messages. Meditation and dream states that may arise or appear to you throughout the day as your body adjusts to these new energies. You will be highly connected to the divine 
in month number one or in October, you are going through some sort of spiritual awakening. You are progressing towards your purpose, towards your soul purpose, and you will be highly recognized for it as well. People are going to recognize your new vibration, okay? You, you will probably be glowing, all right? Time to go. Endings, completion, walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience. You are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience this far. Take stock of what you have learned. It's time to move on to a new experience and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do or to be or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. Relationship message, it's over. Or at, or at the very least, the form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person. This is a time of letting go, of knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. That doesn't mean anything is lost, although this card could speak to a breakup, drifting apart, or the end of a soul contract. It is more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it never was. Endings are always a sign of new beginnings. If you want something deeper, walk away. So... Obviously, it's time to leave something behind. I think that you will know exactly what it is. You will be very connected to the universe, to your subconscious, to the, to the divine. And anything, any question that you have will be answered with ease. I think that you will absolutely know what it is that you have to let go of or that you are letting go of. I think that you know something is over. Okay, and you will be working on your spiritual awakening during this time. So this is a card, Nine of Cups is a card of happiness, satisfaction, wish fulfillment, things looking up. Um, this is just complete happiness right here. Okay, um, this is something happening very, very suddenly. The Knight of Swords, this is suddenly... Uh, moving, okay, sudden movement, Some, somebody may suddenly arrive into your life, the Knight of Swords is could be somebody charging into your life very suddenly, that could really make you happy, okay, this is, this is extreme happiness right here, I mean, Nine of Cups, that is, that is lovely, it's just lovely, um, I think that you may be a little confused with the Seven of Cups over here, you may feel as though, you know, is this too good to be true? Um, I think there's definitely some sort of disruption. There is. This is okay. Both of these cards is 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 very sudden. This is like a tower moment right here alone, and now we have the tower. So you will be happy. There will be some sort of event, okay, that changes everything. This is a life change. So in October there is some sort of life change that you will be experiencing. But it is going to raise your vibration, okay? It's going to cleanse. It's going to cleanse something out of your life that no longer serves you. And it's going to help to raise your vibration to a higher level. Um, this is going to happen very, very suddenly. You probably won't even see it coming. It's like lightning strikes. Uh, take something out of your life uh, suddenly. And you have to find your courage and your confidence and your strength and your willpower to overcome it, okay? Um, this Seven of Cups is a card of, of, of choices, illusions, confusion, confusion over this disruption. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if, I mean, I see a graveyard here, so I don't know what's going on, but there, you could be, you know, somebody could be passing away. I'm just, I'm just being, I don't know if that's the case, but I just had that just happened to point, be pointed out to me. Um... And this could be a church. You could be going to a church. So I don't know what this is. But 
um, whatever this is, this is a card of believing, have faith, have faith and trust that uh, whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. This is a card of it's time to deepen your practice. Uh, believe in yourself. It's time to go your own way. Uh, there could be some need to have faith. Have faith that um, there is a, that there is a higher power involved. Have faith that uh, whatever is being cleansed out of your life is is meant to happen because it's going to allow you to. It's going to allow your vibration to raise to a point that allows you to connect to spirit in a way that you never have even experienced before. Whatever this this false sense of security is that you have been dealing with or hanging on to has been, um, it may have been some sort of illusion. It may have caused you um, some dis disillusionment, whatever. It may have confused you. It may have weighed you down. It Whatever it was, um, I feel as though you need to, the universe, this is a universe card, the universe is coming in to wipe it out. They're just going to wipe this out of your life because it's time for you to follow your true path, your true divine path. So um, in October, I feel as though something that you have wished for, I think that you have, this is like a wish coming true. It's like you probably have been wishing, maybe even subconsciously, wishing for something to change, wishing for, you know, things to get better. And the universe answers in mysterious ways, you know. So I think that you are going to get a wish granted, but it may not be in the way that you thought it was going to be granted. But whatever this wish is, um, I feel like it's going to raise your vibration in a very positive way. Um, I just need to get a clarifier on this Seven of Cups because I don't know what that is. What is the Seven of Cups? Change! Wow! A cycle is ending. And you may be confused. You may feel um, uneasy about this. Now you have to make a choice as to what direction you want to go. It's like you are starting with a clean slate. Now you get to choose. And whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. This is a fated event. So in October, you are going to experience a fated event of some sort. Destined event, okay? That's that's destiny. So whatever this event is, is it's going to close out a cycle in your life, okay? And you may be uncomfortable with it because now you've got to choose another path, right? Um, Empress reversed. We said we weren't going to do reverses, but it did come out that way. You're definitely going to feel uneasy. It may be painful to you. You may it may be painful. Um, this is part of your this is life experience that you need to gain. Okay, the Empress is about life experience. This is going to give you some needed life experience. Okay, so it's going to help you. It's going to bring you growth. Okay, it's going to bring you growth. So um, I think that you you are going to be experiencing a painful. Uh, life change in October. Um, whatever this is, I feel as though um, this is all happening so that you can progress to the place or to the vibration that you're supposed to be at. Something is leaving your life. That's all there is to it in October. Something that no longer serves you. All right. So, let's go to month number two, or November. Soul journey. What happened? Did I put that? I did put that away, didn't I? Hold on. I want to. I want to leave that other one there. I'm sorry. I didn't plan this. And you know that's why I like to plan things. Um, where's that victory card? Victory. Next three months. Victory. We're going to leave that one right there. Imagine. Month number two. Imagine the possibilities 
imagine those possibilities. The sun, we're not taking these reversed. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. It's going to be bright. Things are bright. Very, very bright in November. So bright that you can't eat. It's like, wow, blinding. So this is extreme happiness. Things are changing. Your heart is going to be full. You are going to be feeling love. Big love. Strength. Justice. And the Five of Cups. So there's some sort of grieving here. There's sadness. Sadness over some sort of decision that was made. But you will be finding the strength. It's probably because it has to do with the previous month. You're still going to be sad. You're not going to be completely healed. When the Empress Reverse says that as well. So in October, you're going to experience a cleansing of some sort. Something is being removed from your life. Either you're removing it or the universe. Well, that's a universe, the tower. So there's something that is you're still not going to be healed from. But you will be healing. You will be healing. These are both cards of healing. You will be healing, but you're still going to be sad. Because change isn't easy. The Two of Pentacles is change. Trying to adapt. Trying to be flexible. Trying to adapt to the change. The decision that was made. So in November, you will be adapting to something. But this Queen of Cups, this is feeling. You may be emotional. Your intuition is going to be high, obviously, because October is, you know, you're, you're going through some sort of awakening. I feel as though you may be protecting your heart because you notice how she's holding the cup close to her heart. You know, you may be, you may be really feeling emotional in November. Um, but this is, this is uh, things becoming balanced, both of these cards. I think that your life will be, 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 will be, 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 <laughs> will be becoming balanced, okay, with both of these cards. I think that you will be able to adapt to whatever this situation is that happened. Things, you will be going through a period of healing by the looks of things, Um I feel like you will absolutely still be glowing. You are going to be glowing in November. There's no doubt. You will be looking really good. I think your health will be improving. Um, let's go ahead and read these cards real quick. Well, I don't know about real quick, but soon enough. Soul journey. November. From the moment you choose to return to Earth in this incarnation, you decided to be a conscious creator of your life's journey. Your story, as you have written it, is held within the records of the Akashic Temples and can be assessed, viewed, and experienced at any time. Organized like a library, their Akashic or Akashic Temple holds the records of each soul's journey energetically within the astral plane. Thoughts, feelings, actions, deeds, past lives, purpose, and soul lessons are all recorded within this place. Acting as a spiritual database, every human process, every human process, process, process every human process we experience is recorded. Events, births, deaths, marriages, and other life events can be, be reflected upon at any time. Your individual record is protected by your guardians who ensure that permission is granted and safe access is available at your request. The integrity of the Akashic is never compromised as a result. Right now, you are experiencing a life lesson. Whether the outcome, know that this lesson is for a reason, if, even if you are unaware of it. It is important that you become mindful of your experiences, acknowledging decisions and actions that have led you to this moment. Ask yourself, what it is that I need to learn from this situation? How am I affected by it? What can I do that will help me correct this negative course of action? How can I improve my soul's connection to my higher purpose? What can I do to support humanity? While you may be unavailable to see a way out of your circumstances right now, this will pass and you will soon be shown the reason for recent events. It is important to recognize the value in, of your experiences and resolve past issues 
and patterns from the experience of lessons learned. Co-create a beautiful life with new perspectives. The choice is up to you. Where do you want to go from here? <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visual, visualization, the power of aligning um, imagery and feelings, creativity and illusions. Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in order to have the life you want? If you were gifted with the power, you were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to, deli to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. In matters of the heart, it is easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating. So step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. So somebody is going to enter your life somebody that you have manifested by the looks of things uh, this person is probably going to see your big heart by the looks of things and you may be and I think that you're going to be really happy you're probably going to be feeling loved maybe this is what you, your justice maybe this is the justice that you are going to get for the chaos or the upheaval that you have experienced um, this person could be a Leo I mean it could be could be a Libra could be uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, does it? Could be any other sign. I mean, you, you, we just it could be. You could. This person could arrive in October, and this is the month where you are being called to just give it a chance. Do it. Just do it. You can't just, you know, push it away forever. Give it a chance. So if this person may enter your life in October or month one. But this is still focusing on some sort of loss when there is another opportunity. So I'm here to tell you that you do have an opportunity here. If this isn't, if you're single and you're looking for love, I feel like you're being called to just go for it. I think that you will have somebody that has entered your life or is going to enter your life, and you're being called to, to just do it, just go for it. Um, Be prepared to feel some love. Be prepared to go through some sort of healing. I think that you're going to be really, really, really happy. The sun is extreme happiness, okay? November is going to be a happy month for you, even though, you know, there's going to be moments of sadness, okay? Because as you're, you don't heal overnight over something, you know, you don't heal overnight. And it may be hard to accept that, you know, it's time to unblock your heart and, and give your heart away to somebody else. So I feel like November is a month of finding your courage and your confidence and your strength, seriously, to, to uh, let go of your fears and, you know, step into the limelight. Step into it, okay? Uh, you, are, you, you, could, you were brought to this earth to be happy. Let yourself be happy. Okay, because you're definitely going to have an opportunity for happiness in November or month two. Okay.
Let's look at month number three. Month number three. Oh, we got two of these. Only got, well, I don't know how we're going to handle that one. Change in unconditional love. Are you going to get some unconditional love, Taurus? Things are about to change for you. Unconditional love. Victory and success in the next three months. Unconditional love. <laughs> All that glitters really is gold. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so December. Knight of, oh my God, Knight of Wands. This is somebody arriving very, very quickly. This is somebody that is very passionate. This is somebody that takes action. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is strong. This person is um, enthusiastic. Uh, this person is very uh, confident. This is somebody if this is somebody who really really is attracted okay they're attracted to you knight of cups the world the fool <laughs> page of wands wow four of wands oh my god it doesn't get any better than this it really does not this has got to be too good to be true uh, it really does. Okay, this has got to be too good to be true. It, that's all I got to say. Okay, okay. So we have the Knight of Cups, the World Card, the Fool, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Okay, this is somebody that has burst into your world like fucking wildfire. Excuse my language. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a this is a major new beginning. This is the beginning of a new cycle. You have learned something. You have completed a cycle in your life. Not only is this person passionate, this person has a big heart. This person is a romantic. This person has love for you. They're going to be approaching you. They're going to be very attracted to you. Could be an Aries. Could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I really feel fire here. Page of Wands. Four of Wands. Okay. Um... This is a chance, this is, you are being urged to take a risk with this person. This person is very spontaneous. Uh, this person is, may want to take you on an adventure. They may, they may be, you know, they're really courting you. I think that you will be courted strongly in December. Um, your challenge will be taking this risk, you know, going down that path. Uh, leaving the past behind, leaving all that baggage behind. This could lead to marriage, could lead to commitment. This is happiness, extreme. Okay, this is real. Four of Wands. This could be your soulmate. Okay, Four of Wands, Page of Wands. This is a suitor that is very, very well suited for you. So, December looks like this is the best possible Christmas present you could ever get. Okay. I feel as though you, this is unconditional love. Things are about, this person is entering your life, okay? This person is entering your life, and I think that you are going to be completely shocked by it, put it that way. Um, <laughs> I just slapped my heart. So, yeah, it's going to be heartfelt. It's like, woo! So, anyway, um, we're going to start with change. Things are about to change. You got a romantic coming in. You got a, a a passionate romantic. Change, new beginnings, bring challenges, adapt to your surroundings. Like the wind, the universal spiral symbolizes changes symbolizes change and growth. The spiral is a sacred symbol that reflects the universal pattern of growth evolution, the goddess, fertility, and life force energy. 
Just like the changing seasons, new life is formed after a period of hibernation. Plants know when to shed parts of themselves, dropping their leaves, branches, and seeds at the precise moment. Their natural rhythm is synchronized with their environment. Walking down the road of change allows you to see where you have been and where you are going. This perspective can be com comfor comforting. I can't talk for nothing, as you can see. But one needs to recognize past issues and mistakes to make better choices. These learning experiences require you to let go and surrender to your own divine will. Beginnings are often described as painful endings. Accept accepting your current position in life can offer powerful realizations about your current circumstances. Focus on life changes now. If you insist on making a decision, be patient and seek advice to secure solid foundations before the final phase. Right now, there is a change in the air. You are moving quickly into the next cycle of your life. You are definitely moving quickly. Okay, this is fast moving. There's no doubt about it. This, this acceleration, acceleration may feel uncomfortable at first, but it, it is essential for your progression. Being uncomfortable allows your soul to expand and grow. Surrender and let go of any fear you have surrounding the change required to ensure a smooth transition. Changing your circumstances in career, habits, family, finance, relationships, locations, ideas, and beliefs are all possible now. Be open to possibilities just like an eclipse. Severe change can be perceived as negative influence, but in reality, it often leads to a more productive, beneficial outcome. Adapting to your new surroundings may take time. Relieve any anxiety by removing your resistance to universal flow. When the winds of change slow down and the dust begins to settle, reflect on how far you have come. Something is about to change really, 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 really fast, okay? You're going to be in new territory. You're going to be in completely new territory. You probably won't even be the same person that you were back in September. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. That will certainly change a person. Love has the power to heal and transform overcoming any emotion true love is infinite with its express expression transcending limits and exp experiences people often use the term love to receive an exchange of attention and validation if used from a place of insecurity love cannot be felt in its true form this may lead us to question the quality of love we receive and how we give and share it with other people love drives us whether in relationships, friendships, addiction, or destructive habits, love, or the lack of love, drives our behavior and actions. If our love is misguided, we may begin to shield ourselves and reject love because we are afraid. You may experience love with conditions because you have been hurt or rejected. Previously, you have felt unsupported and unloved, trusting the wrong people has led you down a difficult path, which at times has been challenging. Your caution around people has affected your willingness to be open around others. Your desire to be accepted by family and friends has placed you in a position of rejection and betrayal, leaving you frustrated, resentful, and deprived of unconditional love and understanding. Right now, you are seeking that unconditional love Embrace yourself and your inner child as, when found, this unconditional love can assist you through a deep healing process. Step away from victimhood as you redefine the meaning of love. Approach your issues with understanding and without judgment. Speak openly from your heart as you are acting with unconditional love right now. Are you acting with unconditional love right now? Or does it come with expectations or conditions? We are happiest when our love is at our purest, unmixed with expectations. As we open our heart to the internal mother, 
She comforts, comforts us with unconditional love and open arms. She requests that you assess your relationship with your own mother and learn to appreciate all your teachers of love. Prayer. I call upon the Divine Mother to open my heart to forgiveness. I ask you to work through me to give and share unconditional love in all its divinity. Okay, so you are to called to love yourself by the looks of things. And once you love yourself, somebody else can love you. All that glitters. And I, you know what else I got when I was reading this card was that if you can let go, you know, if you can love yourself, open up. Open up to whoever this person is. But you have to love yourself to do so. You, if you reject this person because you don't love yourself because of your past hurts, you have to forgive, okay? You have got to forgive. And let this person love you. Anyhow, all that glitters. A need to see beyond the superficial, superficial, the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature, trying to be something you're not, chasing after every, every sparkly new thing, being mercuri mercurial? <laughs> mercurial. It's only human to want to adorn oneself in the trinkets and paint a pretty picture of oneself. It's natural to want to acquire the trappings of status or to de deny them as a statement of rebellion. But if it sparkles, is it better? And it's funny because it said all that is glitters is gold. Isn't that funny? Okay, but if it sparkles, is it better? Whether it's a fast car, a big house, a title or position, the stamp of authority or the sparkling of diamonds, these icons, these icons let you know something about a person, place or thing. Or do they? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will elevate them and make them more attractive. This card signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the masks people wear and the motives underlying them. Imagine all that glitter is gone. Would you do, would you still desire the object or person? Sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. We embellish a story a bit, adding some dramatic events to make us more appealing. The real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and the shine. Then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone else because he or she may not have the glitz and glamour that seems so desirable. Now is the time to look past the surface, beyond the mask, to the essence of a person. Who that person is, not what he or she can give you, is important. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. Use the eyes in your heart. Let go of the, the surface and let what is authentic shine. So, whoever this person is, they may not be all that glitter and gold. But there's so much more. And that is what I have. It's funny that this came out because today when I was going to get my nails done, I was on my way home and I saw a convertible. I saw a convertible. And I live in uh, the Northeast. You can only use that convertible, what, three months out of the year? It's so impractical. It's funny that that came up because that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, why would somebody want to buy a convertible when they live up here? For show. To show off. And I wouldn't. I, I'm not, it's funny that this card came up because I would be like, that is the most stupidest thing. To me, that's stupid. 
I don't know why I told you that story, but anyway, that's what I have for your three three month forecast. I think that month three, you are being called to take a risk with somebody who, you know, they may not be all that glitters, okay? <laughs> but they're passionate, they're strong, they have a big heart. It could lead to a commitment, some a marriage. This person is very kind hearted. And they appear I think this you are going to be very attracted to this person. I feel like this person um may want you to travel with them or want you to go someplace with them. They're definitely going to invite you out. They're going to take you out. They're going to wine you and dine you. The next three months lead to victory and success. I see you progressing, making a lot of progress in a very positive way and being recognized by many. Good luck.